Okay, good morning everybody. I'm Gado Karim Musa from Niger. Before starting, I'm gonna tell you this. Becoming fluent in English or in any language is a long-term process. So, if your progress is slow, don't worry. You just need time. So let's talk about our today's topic. Here are five tips which can help you to be a good English speaker. First of all, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Second, stop being a student. Third, don't study grammar too much. Fourth, use it or lose it. And fifth, learn from everyone. Let's go for the first tip. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. I do believe sometimes it might be difficult to use words and rules to make a simple sentence. But don't let the fear of saying something wrong stop you from speaking at all. Even if you think you are making a mistake, keep speaking. Because even you make a mistake, people will grasp you. And the more you speak, the easier it gets and the right word to come to your mind quickly. Let's go for the second one. Stop being a student. The right attitude can make a difference between failure and success. Stop thinking of yourself as someone who is learning English and start thinking of yourself as someone who speaks English. It's a little change, but that can give you more confidence and help you to use the English you already know more effectively. So let's go for the third one. Don't study grammar too much. You have to reckon the key to learning a language is to find a balance between studying and practicing. Expect pretty English, good English, is not the same as knowing perfect English grammar. Because even native speaker can make grammar mistake. Fluency is your ability to speak clearly. So that's why you have to put your grammar book aside, go out for practicing. And you don't need to worry to sound like a native speaker. You have to speak clearly and make sure people are grasping what you are saying when preventing them. And let's go for the, last one, the, the fourth one, use it or lose it. It's just an English expression, which means basically when you get an ability, when you don't practice it, you may forget it. And this idea can help you to remember vocabulary words. The best way to remember a vocabulary word is to make your own sentence with the word and practice it. I guarantee you, it will stuck in your memory. You will never forget it. So don't memorize. So let's go for the last one, learn from everyone. You don't need to think you have to learn English only from book, teacher, or magazine. No. Anyone who speaks English can help you to practice. Imagine in your own language, I mean Indonesian language, I ask you how to pronounce something. Would you get angry with me? I probably guess no, you will be happy to help me. So it's the same situation. Most of native speakers will be happy to help you. So if you know anyone, talk with them and learn from them. And to enhance your English level, you have to speak with anybody, not only in the classroom, out of the class, with your classmate, wherever you are, you have to use the English language to express yourself. It will make you to enhance your English level right quickly. So that's all. But before, I would like to add again some motivation for you. So let's tell you this. English language is really not difficult to decipher. Let me say it again. English language is not difficult to decipher. It's just a matter of time, commitment, and consistency. You have to commit yourself. You have to get the love, the desire to learn it. And deep down, I guarantee you, if you always have the desire, you'll be good at English. And you have to put in your mind, when you are learning a language, you have to take a risk. When you don't take a risk, nobody can figure out, and by yourself, you can figure out where you are going to. And when you take a risk, I do believe you will fail, you will embarrass yourself, because you will make some mistake, and some people will get some negative connotation about you. But don't worry, if you don't make a mistake, you cannot progress. And you, part, you have to put in your psychological makeup, it's by mistake you can improve your skill. Mistake can might be your second teacher. And also when you make a mistake, from your mistake you will learn, and from mistake you will get a good expertise. So you have to get risk all the time. And I would like to add again this idea for everybody. English nowadays is an integral part of our life. We need it. Wherever we go, it's like our passport. And also, it's an international tool for communication. It can speak English, 
Whenever you go, you can chat with everybody and you can get difficulty. You can adapt easily. And apart from that, English is like a key. You need it to open door to oversee. As a student, if you really want to get a scholarship to oversee, try to be good at English. When you are good at English, it's an open door for you to go abroad and to continue your studying. So no matter how you are failing, you are finding difficulty, never give up. I would like to add this again for you. Keep striving, keep fighting, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. And the last I say, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you have questions or requests, please comment below. See you in the next video. Bye.